everybody from just tutors and in this video we are going to learn about multiplication let's discuss the objectives first we will have introduction of multiplication then we will learn how to make multiplication with the help of addition then some properties of multiplication before starting the lesson let's have some warm-up questions you can try these questions for that you need to pause the video and once you are done please resume it to check your answers so you can check your answers from here pat your back for your good efforts and I hope that you have got all correct so we have four mathematical operations which are addition subtraction multiplication and division now we will discuss multiplication it is denoted by a cross symbol like this or by a point so if we need to multiply two numbers we need to put a cross symbol or a point between these two numbers like here we have three main parts of multiplication multiplier multiplicand and product so here the number by which we multiply is known as multiplier so in this one a 4 is a multiplier and the number which is being multiplied is multiplicand so 5 is multiplicand and when the multiplication is done so our answer is product that is the final answer so here 20 is product now let's learn how we can make multiplication with the help of addition we can say that multiplication is a repeated addition which means if we have 4 multiplied by 3 that can be calculated by adding 3 4 times to itself that is 3 lots of 4 together let's take few more examples here we have 4 multiplied by 6 that will be same as adding 4 6 times that will be 24 and next we will have 5 multiplied by 2 that means we will add 5 to itself 2 times that will be 10 and for the next one the answer will be 21 so see how we can connect multiplication with addition now let's have one of the main properties of multiplication which is that adding 5 lots of 3 and adding 3 lots of 5 both will give the same result or we can say that product of two numbers remains the same even if we reverse the order of multiplication we can take help of the example here we have 5 times 3 so we have added 5 to itself 3 times that will be 15 and if we do the reverse if we add 3 to itself 5 times again the answer will be 15 so we can see that in both the cases either it will be 5 times 3 or 3 times 5 we will get the same answer one more really important property of multiplication that if we multiply any number by 0 or 0 by any number in both the cases we will get the answer at like 0 let's take an example 0 multiplied by 9 will be 0 basically it is same as adding 0 to itself 9 times and as you know that we will get 0 and if we have 5 times 0 that will be 0 again so 0 it's all the number by which it's being multiplying alright so it's time to have some practice questions you can pause the video try these questions and once you are done please resume it to check your answers you can now check your answers in question number two part B as we have different numbers but if we are multiplying by zero we will get zero in both the cases so this statement is correct Pat your back for your good efforts and congratulations if you have got all correct. Thank you for watching the video. For more, please visit justutors.com.